fellow friends if you like this video please like comment share this video to your friends subscribe our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications about all the videos my english course book standard 10 3.3 Topping by Woods on a Snowy Evening Poet Robert Lee Frost English Workshop First, put right mark in front of true statement or cross mark in front of false statement the speaker stops to watch the rain falling among the trees wrong the owner of the woods is known to the speaker right the horse is worried about the cold and wants to keep going wrong The speaker doesn't emphasize upon the beauty of woods he is passing through. Wrong. Second, find out line or lines from the poem as a proof for the following explanation. A. There is no one to catch the speaker trespassing. Answer. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods filling up with snow. B. The title horse draw his master's attention. Answer. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. C. His horse seem anxious to keep going. Answer. My little horse must think it clear. to stop without a farm house near d the speaker prefers to stay but is forced to move onwards answer but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep e the poem is set in the bygone era answer he gives his harness bell a shake show that the poem is set in bygone era three the poem is believed to have a reference to the poet's life itself what could the following signify choose from the bracket below duties and responsibilities old age life death everlasting peace the speaker's journey life snowy evening old age lovely deep dark woods everlasting peace promises duties and responsibilities sleep death for tell whether the rhyme scheme of the following stanza is right or wrong for the wrong rhyme scheme give the correct one stanza first a a b a right stanza 2 b b c b right stanza 3 c c d c right stanza 4 d d e d wrong the correct one is d d d d Give your own rhyme words for the following: house, mouse, woods, goods, easy, busy, wind, skin, dark, bark, watch, watch. Match the lines of the poem with their figure of speech. 
ग्रुप ए ग्रुप बी हूज वुड्स देयर आई थिंक आई नो एलिटरेशन द वुड्स आर लवली डार्क एंड डीप पर्सोनिफिकेशन एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई स्लीप एंड माइल्स टू गो बिफोर आई स्लीप इन मोशन माई लिटिल हॉर्स मस्ट थिंक इट क्वियर रिपीटिशन आंसर वन इन मोशन टू एलिटरेशन थ्री रिपीटिशन फोर पर्सोनिफिकेशन Seven, match the words given in group A with their meaning in group B. Group A, group B, mystic, strange, downy flake, eyes, woods, error, queer, jungle, soft snow falling. Answer: first, error, second. soft snow falling third jungle fourth strange eight complete the following web diagram by adding suitable describing words in the boxes one is done for you wind strong cold stormy beating west or east evening pleasant darkest gloomy dreary frosty nine pick out lines from the poem that contain imagery write them in your notebook answer the following lines from the poem contain imagery to watch his woods fill up with snow my little horse must think it fear to stop without a farm house near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year of easy wind and downy flake the woods are lowly dark and deep then prepare a set of question to interview a person who has just returned from a trek in the woods answer what was the purpose of your visit how was your experience in the woods how many of you had gone for the trek how does it feel to be a back in the concrete jungle what inspired you take up the trek did you come across wild animals what was your feeling them how were you able to get your food water and other essential things what were your best and the worst experience during are you planning on any other trip in the future any advice for a person who wishes to go on a similar journey then prepare a set of question to interview the a person who has recently scaled mount everest answer you have been on the top of the world quite literally how does it feel what preparations did you make before the climb what was purpose of your adventure it is challenging expedition what was the most difficult part how did you face difficulties on the way to the top what was the hardest adjustment you had to make during the ascent what is the most memorable incident of your journey 
what message would you give to your youngsters?